All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you stopping by QCR. Today, we're gonna reverse sear some beef ribeye steak American Wagyu boneless. It's uh, $35.99 a pound. It's not the Japanese Wagyu, it's the American Wagyu. So, I'm gonna let you see what this looks like. Pull it out, ooh. Look at all that marbling in there. I don't know if you can see it this far away. Pretty good amount. We're gonna put that in our cast iron. I'm gonna show you what we're doing with our cast iron. And it's not the regular cast iron. It has a little grooves on here for searing. It's pretty nice. And we'll put that in there. We're gonna take this cast iron, put it in our smoker. Smoke it for a bit. Got this little guy here. And put it in here. It's going to go up to about 150, 160 degrees. I like mine medium. I don't want it raw. That's disgusting. So, we're going to put some flavor on here. A little bit of salt and pepper. And some garlic powder in the pan. So, pepper goes on. Like such. Where's my salt? Salt goes on. Like that. Over. Where's my so fine Himalayan pink salt? I should have used that to begin with. I didn't. Put enough on there if you like it. A little more pepper on this side, like such. Then we take our garlic powder. We're gonna put this in the actual pan around it. So I don't know if I mentioned already. I'm reverse searing this. My buddy at work, Stephen Emery. He told me to do it this way. He said he does it this way. So we're gonna do it this way. He got a little, a little emotional last time. I didn't give him a shout out. So give him a shout out now. I'm gonna put some butter around here, this section of the pan. And periodically, I'm gonna go out with my baster, baste it up a little bit while it's in a smoker. Probably every 10 minutes, open smoker up. Get that butter and that garlic powder. It's gonna baste up real nice. Let's put this guy in here. It's gonna have all the smokiness. Then, after I see that it's like 150, 160-ish, I'm gonna slam it on the uh, big green egg, which is not actually a big green egg. It's made by Komodo. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're gonna save our butter. Oh, this kind of butter is Falfuria's sweet cream salted butter made right here in Texas. You might be able to see that, I don't know. So we got our seasoning, got our butter. We're gonna let this hang out, put a little napkin over it. Let it hang out for a little bit, and we're gonna go start the fire. What we got here? We got oak lump charcoal from Central Market. Right there. So we're gonna dump that in there. All right guys, you see that little thing right there? It's a lighter. You like that and then it lights the coals. I'm gonna try and push these over to the left side. On my left side over here, real nice and hot. That way I can move my steak over if it's flaming up too much. All right, you can see I got a little fire going now. Take it a few minutes. It's going to uh, light up real nice. Get those coals real hot. Y'all hear that freaking dog in the background? That's horrible. Horrible, I deal with it every day of my life. Every day. So I'm gonna close the lid. This is probably gonna be well over 500, 600 degrees. We'll find out. All right, let's get our smoker going. So, now that we got a little fire going. Ooh, that's a good fire. The flame's too high. Turn the flame down. Yes. These are apple barbecue cooking chunks. We want it to smoke up real nice. We don't necessarily need a big fire though. Do we? No. I want these little pieces. Put some of that in there. Okay. So we're going to let that smoke up. Uh, my other uh, egg is heating up. 
I don't know if you hear in the background, there's somebody definitely doing some roofing and the dog is barking. So I'm gonna let this heat up. Then I'm gonna put my cast iron right in there. All right, everybody. So I got it heating up. Got this guy heating up right here. We're going to uh, let everything season up real nice. And then I'm gonna come outside, put it on here, put it in the smoker. Probably take 30, 45 minutes. And then I'm gonna sear it on there. It's gonna be sharp. All right, everybody, time has come. Let's go put this bad boy in the smoker. Look at this guy here. Look how wonderful that looks. Dang it, looking sharp. All right, let's open her up. So I got my probe in there. Let that smoke come out. Take our pan. Right inside here. Right inside there. That's gonna be good, 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 good. We got a little thermometer over here. Let's see what this guy says. 474, 500, uh, lit is 390, 481, 533, 540. It's pretty hot. Alright everyone, y'all hear that hammer? It's annoying. Alright, so we're going to let this, this is going to continue to get hotter. We're going to let this over here, it's going to smoke. It's going to be real nice, real, real nice. Right here on QCR. Look at that guy there. Pull this guy out real quick. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Still looks kind of red in there though, don't it? Oh well, we'll figure it out. Let's pull this out. Oh yeah. Set that right there. That's over here. You can see here, that's well over 500 something degrees. Let's see how hot it is. 200. Too hot. How hot is it over here? Too hot. Too hot. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Take it out of here. Slap it on there. Mmm. Mmm. That's looking good. Alright, so what we're gonna do here, take a little of our butter and garlic, a little salt and pepper that's in there, and slap it right on there. Take it out of there. Right there on that guy like that. Ooh, and it's hot. Real hot. Trying to get a good angle where the sun's not destroying it. Destroying my picture. Whew, that's what it looks like, guys. I flipped it over. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, uh oh. Sticking. I don't want it to stick. Mmm, starting to flame up real nice. I want it to char that outside real good. Man, that's good look at that. Get us some garlic butter. Put it on there. Hi right, everybody. We are back. So, got our steak here. Let it rest for a few minutes. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to cut into it. This is our American Wagyu ribeye steak. So, as you already know from previous videos, I don't eat raw meat, so I like it medium. So, we're gonna cut into it, and see what happens. Okay. Oh yeah, very nice. That's tender. Some people might think this is overcooked. 
I don't think so. It is falling apart. Falling apart. Perfect. Alright, I don't know if you can't see it from there. Let me get the camera down. Here, see what we're looking at. That's what it looks like, guys. So, it almost looks... Some people would say it's cooked too long. I'm gonna disagree. Look at that, this camera picks up way better than that other cheesy camera. Mmm, that's some good stuff. All right, time to eat it. Time to eat it. All right, that's what we're gonna do, everybody. We are going to eat it. Eat this meat right here on QCR. We're gonna take this little piece, look at that. That little guy. It's just dissolving in my mouth. This uh, American Wagyu, it's just dissolving. Let's try that piece. Really good. It's really good stuff, guys. Look at that. So if y'all wanna give me a thumbs up, that'd be really nice if you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I do the best videos ever. And I appreciate you stopping by. And don't forget I gave a shout out to Stephen Emery. He uh, reverse sears it like I do. And uh, my buddy BJ. And that's about it, guys. I appreciate you stopping by. I'm getting another shot of this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So it costs $40 for this one little Wagyu ribeye. And it's really good. Alright, thanks for stopping by, everybody.